So we're going to make a tutu for a swan lay. And I'm going to start by going to the Bible. So every production has a Bible. There are eight in this case because John McFarlane designed over 400 costumes. A tutu consists of three different things. It's the bodice, the decoration, and what we're concerned with today, which is the plate, the skirt part. So we've got the beautiful designs that John did. All the details of the fabrics and where they came from and how much you need to make another one. All of the braiding. There'll be samples of the feathers that we used. And there'll be also what we're concerned with here is the recipe. The recipe for the tutu plate contains all the information, all of the 12 layers, how deep they are and how long they are. We need a lot more net to begin with because it gets pleated down. So it takes about eight metres of fabric to make uh, one tutu. We tend to use erasable pens. It lasts for so long and then it disappears over time. And now we're going to be pointing the edges, which means we're going to be cutting the shapes into the edge of the tutu layers, ready to be pleated onto the knicker. Now we've cut all 12 of them, time has come to start pleating the layers down. So now we have this four and a half metre length and we need to pleat it to about 88 centimetres. So we're going to stop assembling the tutu now. So this is Yasmin's pattern, and each of these lines represents where a layer of the tutu will be stitched onto the, the cotton bobbinet knicker. And we're going to start with layer four. It's a combination of things that make it hold its shape. It's the stiffness of the net, and that is really important. And with all these costumes, it's a balance. So the more net you put in, the heavier it becomes and then the more likely it is to drop. I worked on this production originally, and we made 40 white swans and 20 black. It was a really enormous production to be working on, um, but it was really satisfying to see that first dress rehearsal and um, watching them all come out and the brilliance of John McFarlane's set design and costume design, it looked fabulous. And it's quite unusual that you see something that you've made on stage and think, you did a good job. But I feel it looked, it looked as good as I wanted it to. And I know John was happy with it too. So all tutu makers will have slightly different methods. I'm still learning, actually. But um, this is the one that I now use. It's a real balance, this, because it has to be strong, but it can't be tight. We're going to put the hoop in the tutu now and it kind of depends on what shape tutu you're going for as to how much hoop you're going to post into the tutu. So now we've got to the final process which is stringing. So this is linking the layers together so that we can have a quite refined shape and this is the tricky bit. It kind of interlocks the layers so that as the dancer is dancing it doesn't flap about all over the place and it helps it to hold its shape and structure. So the stringing is complete, we're going to try it on the stand. So it looks great. I'm really pleased with it. So the next step is that we're going to put the decorative top plate on. Then we'll put the bodice on. And on top of that, we put feathers that we use to marry the bodice to the top plate. So it's all one unit. Then it's ready for a final fitting and to go on stage. 
this is kind of like the third, fourth fitting now. And I think it's starting to feel really like a second skin. I think it's really hugging the, the right places. It's fitting well. The tutu looks good. Feels comfortable, feels like I can breathe as well, which is Definitely. really important. Yes. Yeah, no, I mean, I love, I love this tutu because this was the first one like I did was this production. So um, it's lovely to kind of put it on again. And it always feels so transformative. You put yeah. that on and it's kind of, you're morphed into character straight away, which is nice. But yeah, it always feels lovely coming back to this one. And I love both of the tutus. I think that's so nice. Oh, that's always nice to hear because mm. we've put in a lot of work, yeah. lots of effort. To <laughs> a lot get of them love good. has gone into these tutus. Beautiful but practical. Yes, yes, absolutely.